hello good morning in this tutorial i will show you how to integrate trigonometric functions that involves powers i have here with me four questions that all involve powers of sine and cosine so the first one which is sine squared x with respect to x the integral of sine squared x with respect to x if you could remember from my previous lesson, I've shown you that sine squared x can also be obtained from double angle identity. So this is going to be uh, the integral of 1 minus cos 2x divided by 2 with respect to x. This is just the same function. So instead of this, we cannot integrate this. But we can factor 1 over 2 outside. So this is equal to 1 over 2, the integral of 1 minus cos 2x with respect to x. 1 over 2 multiplied by, if you integrate 1 with respect to x, you're going to obtain x. Minus. If you integrate this, you are going to obtain sine 2x divided by 2 then plus the constant of integration. If you like, you can expand this so that we have, this time this is x divided by 2 minus sine 2x divided by 4 because 2 times 2 is 4, then plus the constant of integration. So this is how to integrate sine squared x with respect to x. Okay, let us look on to the second one, which is cos squared x. The integral of cos squared x with respect to x. Also from double angle identity, cos squared x can be written as 1 plus cos 2x divided by 2. So instead of this, we write this is equal to 1 plus cos 2x divided by 2. But we have dx we have dx. We now integrate this instead of this. Let us factorize 1 over 2 outside. This is 1 over 2. The integral of 1 plus cos 2x with respect to x. This is equal to 1 over 2 times, if you integrate 1, you're going to obtain x plus. If you integrate cos 2x, you're going to obtain sine 2x divide by 2 which is which is this other 2 if you differentiate 2x you're going to obtain 2 plus the constant of integration c if you expand this parenthesis you're going to obtain x divided by 2 plus sine 2x divided by 4 plus the constant of integration c this is also how to integrate cos squared x the only difference between this and this is the sign for sine squared x we have minus but in cos squared x we have positive sine plus so now let us look on to the problem number three problem number three is sine squared x multiplied by cos x with respect to x we all know that if you differentiate sine x you're going to obtain cos x so I think we can use a kind of use of substitution here so that we can obtain something related to cos. So let u equal to sine sin x. If you differentiate u with respect to x du, you're going to obtain cos x dx. You see, but we have cos x dx here. We, which we can now substitute as du. So let us rewrite everything. Our integration is now going to become, since we have let u to be equal to sine x, here we are going to have u squared. But the whole of cos x dx is now going to be du. So we have du. Which we can now integrate using power rule. But we have substituted something to be equal to u, which is sine x. We can now bring it back instead of u. This is now equal to sine cubed x divided by 3 
plus constant of integration c this is how to integrate this function now looking on to the last one which is cos cubed x let's see how we can integrate this function the integral of cos cubed x dx you know that we can split this function you know that x squared times x is going to be x to the power of 3 we can now split this into cos squared x times cos x this is equal to the integral of cos squared x multiplied by cos x with respect to x from trigonometric identity you know this can be also written as 1 minus sine squared x 1 minus sine squared x times cos x dx let us expand this bracket we are going to obtain this time 1 is cos x this time this is minus sine squared x cos cos x all of this with respect to x we are now going to integrate them independently we integrate this first term and the second term but if you could remember sine squared x cos x we have we have it here and we have already integrated so we have no problem with that but for this we all know that if you integrate cos x you're going to obtain sine x minus remember when we integrated this we obtain sine cubed x divided by 3 that's what we have gotten initially plus the constant of integration finally we have integrate this function which is sine x minus sine cubed x divided by 3 plus the constant of integration